Hey, it's Aran here. In this New Zendler Tech tutorial, I'm gonna show you step by step how to connect your custom domain name to New Zendler. What it means is that the name of your URL, which typically will have a New Zendler in the name, will no longer be there and it will be branded to you with your unique name. I'm gonna show it to you using my domain name so you can see an actual example. And you need to be aware that when I show it to you, I'm going to connect it to my domain provider, which is domain.com. However, you might be using something else like GoDaddy, Bluehost, HostGator, SiteGround, any of these. And the interface might look completely different to you. And if it gets confusing to you, you should just be aware that in case you need one-on-one -on -one help, I offer that as a service. So if you get stuck, even after watching this tutorial and you can't figure it out, you can simply reach out to me, contact at aranbukai.com to connect with my virtual assistant and actually sign up to get help with that one-on-one. My virtual assistant will actually hop on Zoom with you, tell you where to click and set it up with you. It's for a very small fee and the link will be also in the description. With that said, let's dive right in so we can get you set up with your custom domain. Hopefully you could figure it out on your own using this tutorial. All you gotta do is go to your New Zealand website, click on site, click on site settings right here, click on custom domain, and then add your domain name. In my case, the domain name is actually zendlerhelp.com. And notice that it says here, example, www forward slash your domain. So make sure you type in the www. I'm gonna click on update. Now, this will pop up, and you can click here, right click to see the instructions, and you'll be able to see it. Now, the instructions is exactly what I'm showing you right now. Now, it says here, once you set up the complete, the DNS setup, then click here to confirm. So I'm now going to do the DNS setup, which is exactly what is explained in this tutorial. So basically, instead of you watching this tutorial, I'm just showing you how to do it uh, right here. So basically, you're going to grab this link right here, the one at the very top. In my case, it is aranbukai.newzendler.com. You're gonna grab that, you're gonna go to your domain provider, you're going to go, in this case, I'm using domain.com, you see this is zendlerhelp.com. I'm gonna click on DNS and name servers. I'm gonna click on add DNS and I'm going to add a C name. I'm gonna say www, paste in the URL, make it one hour and click on add, add DNS. Basically what it means is I'm telling domain.com that the www domain of zendlerhelp.com needs to point, point like direct to aranbukai.newzendler.com, which is my Zendler site. Now, once I've done it, I'm gonna say, click here to confirm, and it will take 24, 48 hours. Now, if you're curious to see if this actually worked, then you, this can take 24 hours to do, but there is a way to also test it. So, let me just show you another little trick. So, you want to go to dnschecker.org. You wanna search, type in CNAME, and then paste in the domain that I just connected, even though it's immediately after. And type in www.zendler.help, that's my one, obviously type in your own, click on search, and you will see that this domain is pointing to this. And you see all the greens? All the greens means I've done it correctly. So if I didn't do it correctly, let's just say that I'm just gonna make a typo, right? and I'm gonna do this, you'll see it will just say X. Obviously this domain doesn't exist. I was just doing a type of, for the sake of demonstration. But when I do it this way, you'll see that it's all done correctly. Now, what I also recommend, I like to then email Zendler support and just say, I connected my new Zendler site and then I put in the Zendler subdomain to my domain name, zendlerhelp.com. Can you please install SSL? This is a security certificate to make sure that I did it all correct. And I'm gonna click on send. Now, I know you might be thinking around, what the hell are you talking about? With domain name, SSL, what is all this stuff? You can go to faq.arambukai.com, search for SSL, and you will actually find little videos that and explainer tutorials that I've actually got created here, which you can check out. If you wanna know what is a domain name, 
simply click on domain, uh, subdomain. So if you want to learn what is a subdomain, search for a subdomain. If you want to learn what is hosting, search for hosting and so on. So what are domain names and hosting? Click on that. You'll see there's a really good video here as well. And you can learn what all these little terms are about because I know it's confusing. I know it's overwhelming. I've been there. Um, I've just built so many websites now and I've done this little process with people so it's not as overwhelming, but I know how difficult it was when I got started. So go to faq.arambukai.com and do a search, okay? If you want to know about other things to do with New Zealand, I've got a whole playlist here for New Zealand tutorials and FAQs as well. You're welcome to check out. And also in my YouTube channel, I have a lot of New Zealand tutorials on the playlist. You can check it out somewhere around here. Okay, so just to wrap up the tutorial on setting up a custom domain, Zendler, once it's all good, basically, um, and let me just show you, I got the email from um, Zendler as soon as I basically connected it, and they said 24 hours, 28 hours to be done. Now, here's what happened is within a few hours, I received an email saying it's all been installed in relation to uh, my email as well. And I got another automated email saying that it's all been connected. So now that it's all connected, what you wanna do is go back here and you'll notice that you can click on set as primary and have a read on this question mark. And it says, once this option is set, your Zenlayer domain will be redirected automatically to your custom domain. Please note that if you're unable to log in to your custom domain for any reason, you would need to talk to support at zenler.com. So basically what it means is every time, if I had any pages like ranbukai.newzenler.com forward slash membership or whatever, it will automatically change to zenlerhelp.com forward slash membership. That's what will happen when you click this. Now, when you click this also, it will log you out automatically and you'll need to log back in using the same password. So just be aware that that will happen, okay? Now, um, full disclaimer as well, I'm actually, you actually cannot use the domain name Zendler in your domain name. So I'm actually going to cancel that because I'm actually not allowed to. It's not, it's against the terms and conditions. I just um, wanted to do this as a tutorial to show you how to do it, but when, when you are going to search for zenlerhelp.com, it will actually redirect you to aranbukai.newzenler.com. Just to so be aware of that as well, so you don't go out and buying domains or anything like that, uh, or connecting it, because you're actually, you, you're actually not supposed to. So I just wanted to give you that uh, quick disclaimer. Thanks a lot for watching the Zenler tutorial, really appreciate it. So if you want to check out New Zenler, if you haven't used it before, go to tryzenler.com. It will give you an option to create a free account where you can actually play around with it and take it for a test drive on your own. When you do that, also send me an email to contact at aranbukai.com and if you decide to actually sign up and become a paying customer for Zendler, I'll send you a bunch of bonuses that are actually gonna help you get your website up and running as soon as possible with my help. And if you're already a new Zendler customer, then go to aroundfunnels.com forward slash Zendler in case you want to get some extra help from me personally to actually help you with your website. And also there's a bunch of bonuses there that you're going to be able to download to get prepared for what you want to get done. That's about it. If you have any questions for me about New Zendler, any tutorials you want to make, anything like that, leave a comment below. And of course, if you're new to this channel, subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot and I'll speak to you soon.